Update, update, this bitch ass nigga, update. Yeah, man, that nigga D Blood, the fake nigga from Meta View, got hit with that caca paca in the pen, man. Hey, caca paca, that nigga, man. If you don't know what a caca paca is, man, that's when somebody pull that knife out their ass with the caca on it and paca your ass. Yeah, that nigga got stabbed 16 times. For running his motherfucking mouth, acting like he ran the game. Hating ass nigga. This bitch ass nigga a snitch. He didn't have me flagged from the pen. This nigga been stalking us. Everybody from Meta View, don't nobody know this nigga. He get with this old funny built old Mexican bitch Liz and start trying to, you feel me, be messy in the hood. He pillow talking to this bitch and she passing messages to top members. Nigga, we ain't raised with this bitch. Let me give you the backstory on the chubby bitch. This bitch from the creek that sucked 50 dicks and more. You feel me? Fucked with hella nigga. She still fucking with the nigga. I shoot her, shot her video for her, but the nigga left her because she was weak. Everybody done turned on her because she even be in her kids' business doing dirty shit. Now she trying to be in the M where you already know we high level with this mob shit trying to turn and twist niggas. And she got this bitch nigga who been in the jail his whole life for shooting a kid. Yeah, this nigga D-Blood all of a sudden think he run us and come to find out the homie say the nigga a sucker or we don't even know this nigga. Yeah, but yeah, they handled that nigga in the pen in high desert running his mouth too much and shit. They got back. You feel me? The nigga was bad. No Usalama on him and they left the nigga in debt. But you want to know the best part about everything? Yeah, they got that nigga extra charges, so he got stabbed and still got to go do some more time in the pen for it. Now, that's being a super bitch. That's what I'm saying, nigga. Mind your business. Quit pillow talking. They don't got phones and shit in high desert. So this nigga calling on phones that's being recorded, right, to this bitch. And she and he got her calling real members, real mob shit, and trying to pull gang hits from the pen, nigga. That's snitching. Nigga, them police got all them recorders that can pull them up, nigga. They, can, they know y'all voices as soon as y'all come on. When y'all get out, they can still say, that's this inmate, so-and-so, and this. This nigga calling and constantly being in gang business and ain't been on the streets in more than 20 years. We don't even know this nigga. And he trying to stir up shit, talking, calling himself the general. Nigga, you don't run us around this motherfucker, especially not through this chubby, funny, built, pure bitch. You see what I'm saying, man? Who got left for dead by everybody because she keep being messy in the hood. Man, that's why we gonna dox her address. We gonna make sure we know where she work at. Cause these bitches be living double lives, thinking they gang hit hit women and passing gang messages, and then be at the office and shit, trying the next day working for white men like they squares, man. You feel me? But really, they just bring death and destruction in this. Yeah, this nigga all stabbed up now. You feel me? Fucked up now. You talking about he gonna do something to me? It's gonna be hard with 16 holes in your body. You feel me? From one of them. You feel me? And I told you niggas, you niggas is gay to me. Y'all niggas put knives in and phones in your booty, nigga. Something I would never do. You feel me? I got the hands of death on me. I ain't like you niggas. I ain't go to jail for, for, for attacking niggas and shit. Nigga tried to attack me and I busted his shit. So I keep telling you niggas on some man on man shit. Run up nigga and you gonna see why they call me the king out here. You little ass midget bitch. Nigga. You's a weirdo ass nigga. All in the pen, nigga, telling niggas business and shit. Sending gang hits and shit. Got this bitch tied in with big homies. Nigga, we ain't grow up with her. Stop putting these bitches in man business, man. That's the point here. Stop running around hating on everybody gossiping. That's how you can tell them these niggas been in jail their whole life. They midgets. They got, they got sexually assaulted. These niggas got sexual tendencies. They hiding shit in their ass. They got to be around bigger men. Them bigger, older men see them little niggas and take advantage of them, bro. For real. You niggas wasn't blessed with 20-inch arms like me. You feel me? You niggas don't got knockouts. Stop acting like you rock out in there like that. You feel me? I know the real story. And we gonna start exposing you niggas, man. This nigga D-Blood passing messages, getting online. I don't know this nigga. He just jumped on my line one day on, on Facebook on some gang shit. I said, bitch, beat it, nigga. Then nigga, you, that's, that's snitching. When you niggas got on social media because a nigga was rich and everybody said, oh, I'm that nigga. Ain't nothing you can say could make me fuck with you. Ain't nothing you can say can change that.
Cause you been in the pen and I've been out here winning, putting food on niggas' tables. That's it. That's all. That's how shit go out here. All that extra shit y'all on on prison shit, it just mean you institutionalized. What type of nigga wanna fuck with a nigga that's gonna come home and try to get niggas on negativity? You hating, bro. You the devil. And that's the problem around here. Real M niggas ain't even like that, nigga. We just handle our business, nigga. You see what I'm saying? You all with the young homies that came home and said, oh, he be trying to get us to do shit. You trying, bro, you trying to run them. You trying to get manipulate these kids into getting in trouble like you, nigga, and doing life like you for sucker shit, nigga. Yeah, I seen your paperwork. Yeah, nigga, you did some sucker coward shit, nigga, with a kid, nigga. You was a stalker ass nigga. Just like you been stalking me in prison for years, nigga. And now you even got your ass poked up, nigga. Niggas, Ben told me, nigga, and they everybody trying to tell you, you need to shut the fuck up and mind your business, nigga. Ain't nothing out here for you, nigga. Go on, get your bitch and disappear, nigga. You over here think you finna come back to the hood and get shit bracket, nigga. Yeah, right. You gotta go to the parole board and shit. And you niggas running around here acting like y'all good, but y'all bad. Make a make your decision, bitch. Baka, baka.